And boxing well has put the May 2005, he made his ESPN debut against veteran Ross Purity. Chambers was the busier and better man. He outboxed him throughout and almost earned a shutout on the scorecard. The question is, what will we see on his very own Derek Ross? He has arrived. Played inside the shot and punched inside and just putting that pressure on all night. Both teams can technique and experience do it against big, brawn, athletic. What they might be missing a boat on, and time will tell us, is that Chambers has power that exists in other ways, other places. That is power. We'll see how that power plays out versus the power of the... Saw a glimpse of the hand speed from Chambers from Derek Rossi already landing 11 bodies. to go downstairs and give credit that Chambers depends on is by covering up. And when he covers up, Sometimes he leaves that body, that little bit of, that can be found by punches around those elbows. Just to go to the body early, Derek Rossi has stuck to it. But they want the money, a heavy one. And they want to keep their trunk tied. <laughs> yeah, this is your man early, Derek Rossi. The Philadelphia face, 27 is, is better suited in that area. We'll see if that starts to serve him after the adrenaline yeah. Rossi. But sometimes he can be too complacent. Actually, a 12-round fight. My mistake. And Chambers has gone the full 12 rounds. Rossi has not accomplished that feat yet as a pro. There's a sharp, short right hand on the inside from Eddie Chambers as Rossi was concentrating on the body. And you see how composed Chambers is. That's where the experience pays off. I Rossi favor, tries to shoot the uppercut. As I said earlier, I favor Chambers. I think that Rossi's people could be a little bit in love with their charge. And getting a little bit of the importance, not of size and athleticism, but of experience, of being stout in that area. Not off the board, but off the block. He will, he will try to punch inside those wider, longer shots of Rossi. And he's doing a good job of it right now. Chambers scores with a left hook and then comes back with two right hands as Rossi, round number two. Second round. Now he has to deal with the bad eye. Again, as he used the ring a little bit, his speed, his jab, and uh, snappy punches inside the bigger man's hand. That seems to be the plan that Chambers is trying to execute. And that's the kind of plan that can wear down a bigger meat. Chambers from the left side. Lead right hand from Rossi. Chambers so comfortable on the inside though, he places two punches, comes back with a left hook. Again, where you're going to see the offense is going to be on a Rossi. And hoping to play out in a poor way, in a submissive way, in a way where he doesn't feel like the bigger man. Trading headshots now. Minutes to go in round number three. The pace has quickened. Ian Spud is a good time sentiment. A fast pace. He can wear it down. He's not used to this atmosphere. That can weigh you down. And James is used to that air. He has used that air. Right now that's going 12 rounds. Rossi landed another big right hand. But once again, Chambers able to score. Controlled on the inside. Final 30 seconds of what has been a wildly entertaining. Not the case. I believe Chambers will have the advantage as you saw right there. What a punch. That is just for men. Punch the 69 to 25 advantage with headshots. Rossi went to the body early and often. Six Rossi, but as you stated so well, Teddy, Chambers on the inside. The people would have said, hey, the shorter man, the smaller man, he's got to move all night. Stay away from that big edge football player. In other dimensions, not just in physical size. Chambers bigger in other he doesn't, he uses his legs a little to change distance, but he doesn't move his waist without moving his legs. And as he pulls back his body. Teddy Atlas' scorecard through three rounds so far tonight, 29-28. Chambers, Rossi has been breathing noticeably through the mouth. The bloody nose becomes an issue in terms of cutting the wind, Teddy. The senior, the corner of Rossi, Bob Jackson, the great boxing man. Moving right hand. Off to the side, instead Chambers fighting backwards and still landing punches as the big 248-pound Derek Rossi tries to lean on the inside against him. Key words, I think, positive for the judges here. Clean and effective. 
not just throwing. Most of the clean except the punches seem to be coming. Well, the cut over the eye of Cambridge. We mentioned that seven fights ago. That happened against Shannon Miller at Madison Square Garden. Let's bring in the two hours to go hit a heavy bag at Gleason's gym that has your name. You know what I'm saying? Both of them. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job. I mean, he, he came off fast. And he looked at me like he's getting tired. Uh, he's getting hit right hand from Eddie Chambers. Boxing, the boxing is a hobby for him. How much of an advantage is it, Jeff, just being calm in there? Because Chambers is calmer than Marcus. How much of an advantage is that? Well, my, my father always taught me that this is just a relax. Right now. Big right hand from yeah, the right. The more relaxed you are, the better you And the more you see, and right now, Chambers is seeing a lot. You see everything right from now. Jab Judah. The fight that, you know, a lot of people don't expect a small man. Because I think he's just walk through walking to break him down. I think now, Raw Chambers gives you a chance. Five rounds. Round number one, Teddy. Rossi came out. Set a very fast pace for a 248-pound man. As we said, fast start, but we weren't so sure about the finish. The calmer man has taken control after that fast start by Rossi, the bigger man. Chambers has settled in nicely right there in the pocket, countering off those wide shots of Rossi, blocking and pitching. Good action. A punch caused that cut. So if the fight is stopped because of the cut on the left eye, Derek Ross Chambers has come on. Teddy Atlas' scorecard a little bit and elaborated on it a little bit more. Well, Chambers should be moving, using that ring, the smaller man. We suggest that he may want to go forward in the chamber of Rossi and take advantage of the experience, try to melt Rossi. Right side because he's been getting the worst of it. And good defensive Chambers, serving him well. Your chance to rest like right now. Don't force the issue of your Rossi. Go outside. Take a walk a little bit. Box a little bit. He's heavy right now. He's laboring a little bit. I think this fight is in the hands of Chambers. If he wants to press the envelope and really put pressure on Rossi's outside, Joe, Chambers is not in a hurry to go get you. He'll block. He'll work off your aggression. The issue where he forces him. Chambers to do that. Right there. A left hand scores from that comfort zone of Eddie Chambers as Rossi comes in the way against fast Eddie Chambers, the more experienced and polished 27-0 pro from Philadelphia. Short right hand again on the inside. I figured maybe this is the right spot. So well so far by the smaller man Chambers. Um, he's been a manager as long as anybody. He's been a promoter for about 50 years and he's an advisor. And he advised that Chambers, and it's looking like he's right, was just too experienced for Rossi. Chambers is all over him right now. Taking his time, patiently lands an uppercut as Rossi stumbles back. I thought there was a chance in this fight, as I said early, before the action started, for Chambers to break down Rossi, take him apart. That is happening right now as the referee, a very good referee. And what would you expect less from Arthur McCann here in New York, but not the case. They go on in round seven. Big right hand. Rossi knows his desperation time. Chambers is just being off, picking his spot, and easily scoring. And again, the bad news for Rossi, the bigger man who thought he would have an advantage, seeing the bigger man inside. Big, big, big disadvantage on the inside, right from the outset. The quicker, tighter Chambers, the calmer Chambers, eating him up on the inside. Again, I thought, and it's too late now, but Rossi should have boxed. Eddie? I thought Rossi should have boxed. Here, the body language, Rossi starting to lose it more and more. Chambers looked over to Arthur Mercanti Jr. as if to say, are you going to stop this fight? Look at the grotesque swelling of the right eye of Derek Rossi. Oh, stop now. Let's take a look at how Eddie Chambers finished them off. And it's the way it started. On the inside, the shorter, faster hands of fast Eddie Chambers in the pocket, taking advantage of a game, but outclassed and fast. Eddie! 